My fellow Americans, ladies and gentlemen, I come to you in this great hour of need in our country's history, not to promise you things if you'll vote for me, but to inspire us to unite against everything that attempts to divide us. The future of our nation is in great peril. There is a great chasm between who we espouse to be, who we're constitutionally supposed to be, and who we actually are. It is not what I can do for you. It is what we can do together. The America that we can build, the scientific and technological breakthroughs and the cures that we can discover together. The people of my generation were sold a bill of goods that no longer exists. Go to school, get good grades, get a good job, and retire. And that plan isn't working well for us anymore. People are working two to three jobs and have nothing to show for it. They're working 24 hours a day and still can't seem to get ahead. We cannot outwork inflation and the speed of economic and political change. Most Americans know what it is like to lose a job or to be laid off. We know a pain that America's politicians will never know. I refuse to leave this chaotic America to my children and grandchildren. Americans are lonely. The Surgeon General just stated that loneliness is becoming a major epidemic in America. They're depressed. They're anxious about the future and with good cause. But with me as president, anxiety will go down in America. Depression will not be as rampant. People will not feel as lonely and hopeless because when the right leaders are in authority, peace and happiness is in the land. We've been electing the wrong people because we keep asking the wrong questions. We used to be able to trust what government said. We used to blindly trust what doctors said and what teachers taught us. Now, if government says it, it's, it's probably false. If the government says it's safe, it's probably not. And if government is the solution, then you are asking the wrong question. We have committed atrocities against our own people and against people of the world. We have abused our power. We have lied to our own citizens and to other nations. We have made promises and broken them. But America's character problem will be resolved with me as president. We have inordinate affections and an insatiable thirst for endless pleasure, recreation, and entertainment. And it has dulled our sense and spirit of American innovation and creativity so that we can replace the railroad, fix our transportation system, replace and improve the automobile, education, science, and cures. We have grown complacent in our defense of freedom. Politicians have cried wolf so many times before that America is self-destructing before our very eyes and most simply do not give it a second thought. And we have been powerless and ineffective in stopping it. We vote for people who get in office and very soon forget us and our problems. Americans must not only think of ourselves, our comfort, our retirement, our happiness, and with no thought for those who will follow after us. I want to build an America that pleases God, prospers our citizens, and leaves a great legacy for the generations that follow us. Tonight, I am looking for Americans who will stand with me to take personal responsibility for what America becomes on our watch in our day. We can do great things together. We can build great American businesses once again. We can ignite the creativity and the ingenuity of American greatness that built this country. But we've got to get better. We've got to be better. We've got to read, grow, learn, get healthier, and be better people. It is time for America to rise up to levels never before seen by mankind. It is time for we the people 
to take America back from the hands of the few who seek to control us through lies, deceit, division, and manipulation for the sole purpose of greed, power, and monetary gain. It is time for Americans to start the business you've always dreamed of starting, to build the product, to provide the service that you know improves lives. It is time we fix our character problem as a nation and start being who we ought to be. See, America is bigger than you and me. America is bigger than any one man. America is bigger than any political party. America is a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. We are one nation under God. Imagine what is possible if America started rowing together instead of against herself. Imagine if we stopped fighting each other and started fighting for one another. Imagine if the American default was selflessness instead of selfishness, looking out for each other and our families instead of numero uno. That is an America that will transform the world as we know it. That is an America that will attain unprecedented heights of greatness. And that is an America blessed by God that you and I can rejoice in. Life in America can be so much better for everyone than it is today. I am not okay with the status quo and business as usual. We can attain this vision of America. It is within reach. We can do it together. And no force on earth can stop or dampen the great American spirit. I'm speaking to you tonight about something far more important than this policy or that position. It matters not if we agree on everything or nothing at all, because it is our time to write history, to determine the future of America for the next 100 years with unity as our anthem. Not because we agree, but because that's who we are. Before you are a Republican, a Democrat, a man, a woman, rich, poor, gay, straight, religious, atheist, or a confused combination of all of the above, you are an American. And under that flag, let us unite so that we can discuss the great issues of our day with clear heads and sound minds. Let us show greater respect to our fellow man. Be gracious in our rhetoric to those with whom we disagree and civil in our behavior. Let us unite for a better America, a happy America, a noble America, and a prosperous America. One where our children are happy and successful. They aren't stressed out on drugs, in prison, on the streets, and they aren't discouraged and hopeless. This is the way forward, America. And with the help of God, let us march towards victory. March towards changing the course of history in your family. March towards changing the course of history in our country. And march towards changing the course of history that the world may never forget our generation that rejected the political idioms of the day to unite above all our differences. May the very things that have been used to divide us become our greatest strength. We are the United States of America. May God bless each of you. And may Almighty God bless these United States of America. Thank you.